butter. All right, guys, we're moving again. Tonight, Comcast takes you to ground zero for one of the year's most electrifying shows with two of the most dynamic performers in music. Join us as we turn an empty arena, a handful of cameras, cases of band equipment, and miles of black wire into a half hour show that'll leave you breathless and set the stage for an in-demand event that luckily you can still order. This is Comcast Behind the Scenes with Tori Amos and Alanis Morissette as they prepare for tonight's in-demand concert event. Before they tear up the stage and take music to new worlds, before they break all the rules and break the sound barrier, they have to get dressed, get wired and tune up. And before they're in demand, Tori and Alanis are here with us, gearing up for an unforgettable night of music. Find out what brought them to Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, what helps them perform, and how a show like this gets on the air. Ready, South 6, South 6, you're in, Craig. Make your move, make your walk. That's it, slow it down, slow it down. Also, catch a backstage glimpse of the performers and find out what little surprises they bring along on a global tour. Plus, find out how you can win a pair of Steve Madden shoes made exclusively for Tori Amos's foundation reign. You came for action and up to the minute coverage of these two major players, and that's what you're about to get. Comcast presents Behind the Scenes with Alanis Morissette and Tori Amos, the five and a half weeks concert brought to you by MP3.com. Tori and Alanis are in demand, and it's not too late to catch this rare concert event. Where'd you put the key? Alanis Morissette and Tori Amos are in demand. Thank you, Tara. You Together in concert. Explosive. Electrifying. Intensity times two. Premiering Saturday, February 19th. Brought to you by MP3.com. Morissette and Amos are in demand. Pay-per-view for the demanding viewer. Welcome back. You're watching Behind the Scenes with Alanis Morissette and Tori Amos, the five and a half weeks concert brought to you by mp3.com. And there is still time to experience Tori and Alanis on In Demand. To prepare you for tonight's concert event, here's a little background on our featured artists and a hint as to what makes Alanis and Tori In Demand. I love working with the shape of sound and I've gotten more into it with each album. And it doesn't mean that you throw the kitchen sink in there, but it does mean that it becomes like sonic geometry and that fascinates me. Tori and her muse will travel anywhere and as you will hear later, her muse hasn't let her down yet. Each song in the Tori Amos catalog showcases her willingness to experiment, and each of her albums came to life in a very unique environment. Never was a cornflake girl. Thought that was a good solution. What if I moved? Tori's pioneering spirit found its voice in 1992 when a move to London helped her craft her piano based album, Little Earthquakes. The smash hit Silent All These Years gave witness to her diverse range and power and earned her an instant almost cult-like following. In 1994, Tori released Under the Pink, which was recorded in an adobe house in New Mexico. The single God was one of her most daring pieces to date. God, sometimes you just don't come through. God, sometimes the song you, you want a shape that's very um, pointed. Sometimes you want it to be like a bleeding watercolor coming out of your speakers. And that really depends on who the song is, how she wants to be romanced by us as the players. 
This official track audio has been muted due to copyright. She then headed to an old church in Ireland to record the album Boys for Pele, which was released in 1996. Working in an environment with so much spiritual history no doubt had a spellbinding effect on this impressionable artist. This official track audio has been muted due to copyright. After wrapping up the Pele tour, Tori was off to Cornwall, England to an old farm which was home to Martian Engineering. There, a brilliant team of sound engineers would help her craft her next album from the Choir Girl Hotel. In 1999, Tori released the double CD set to Venus and Back. What was meant to be simply a collection of B-sides and a few new recordings became a masterpiece featuring live renditions of her hits and 12 revolutionary new tracks written and produced by this truly intense and inspired artist. And like all her previous multi-platinum albums, To Venus and Back received the same honor shortly after its release. Tori trusts her muse and creates when the time is right. On this album, the time was certainly right. This year, Tori was nominated for two Grammys. This official track audio has been muted due to copyright. Tonight's in-demand broadcast of Alanis Morissette and Tori Amos, the five and a half weeks concert sponsored by MP3.com, is your chance to see the culmination of close to a decade's worth of piano and vocal mastery from the dynamic and daring soul of one truly outstanding performer. Experience firsthand the piercing ballads that made her famous, along with hits from her latest double CD to Venus and Back. Call now to order Alanis Morissette and Tori Amos, the five and a half weeks concert brought to you by mp3.com. We'll be right back with an up close and personal look at the artist currently known as the supposed former infatuation junkie. Stilton, he's home. Sir, I have a surprise for you. Step this way, sir. Sir, sit down. Stilton, you are the best butler I have ever had. Thank you, sir. Order in the best movies from your throne. In demand. You rule. Welcome back to Behind the Scenes with Alanis Morissette and Tori Amos in demand. The intensity is building. While we show you what brought these two time bombs together and what makes them tick, you still have time to order the concert and witness their power firsthand. Call in demand now. For the five people out there who don't know about Alanis Morissette, here's a crash course on how to rock the world before age 25. The story of Alanis is the story of an extremely talented woman who came of age in the public eye. And like all stories of famous children, hers is filled with amazing highs and a critical stumble or two. But just when she was poised to become a cliché, Alanis would pull off a major coup, an outrageous, gigantic comeback before the age of 21. Alanis Nadine Morissette was born on June 1, 1974, along with her twin brother Wade in Ottawa, Canada. At a young age, she became comfortable in an adult world, and at nine, she wrote her own songs. At 
At the ripe young age of 12, Alanis made her debut at Ottawa's Spring Tulip Festival. Though she was unable to do the cartwheel required for admittance, they let her in because she had a pretty good voice. Those Tulip Festival judges had no idea what they had on their hands. At 14, she signed a record deal and released the album Alanis, the album that would first introduce her to the world as a happy-go-lucky disco queen and win her a Juno, the Canadian equivalent of the Grammy. In 1994, Alanis moved to L.A. and began working with Glenn Ballard. They made an amazing team, to say the least. Glenn and I would write the songs in a very stream of consciousness way. We recorded the songs right after we wrote them in the same day and the same evening. 80% of the record is, is the original demos. Vocals are all one or two takes. We weren't trying to be too precious about everything. We didn't want to go over everything with a fine tooth comb and lose any of the spirit. Because we were so cerebrally and intellectually and spiritually connected while we were doing it, it just resulted in my feeling free to do whatever I wanted and because of his curiosity and his openness. And I will forever be grateful to him for that. From these sessions came two breakthrough songs, Perfect, which would be a personal breakthrough for Alanis, and You Ought to Know, which would be the American public's first taste of her talent. Madonna's record company, Maverick, signed her largely on the merits of You Ought to Know. Whenever I think of You Ought to Know, I always feel sorry for how misunderstood that song has been. Um, and I guess indirectly or directly how misunderstood I was in, in the writing of that song. I wrote You Ought to Know to release how I felt at the time. I was in a very pathetically sad, vulnerable state. And um, I released it. Talking dirty and showing her gritty side paid off big time. In 1996, Alanis received six Grammy nominations and went on to win Album of the Year, Best Female Vocal Performance for You Ought to Know, and Best Rock Album. And what it all comes down to With 28 million copies sold since 1995, Jagged Little Pill long surpassed Whitney Houston's first album as best-selling U.S. debut of all time by a female artist. As long as I finish the record and love it, if it sells 10 copies or 10 million copies, I can't control that. No one can control that. What followed was a massive world tour that would push the artist to the breaking point and cause her to rethink her views on fame and consider an early retirement. Do I stress you out? My sweater is on backwards and inside out, and you say, how appropriate. It's been draining, it's been wonderful, it's been horrible, it's been everything. I just, I love silence right now. For obvious reasons, life's very noisy and crazy, and I just, I like to be silent. But just when Alanis was about to walk away, she decided to take a little trip with her mom and a close friend. This vacation turned out to be so much more. This trip changed her life. Thank you, India. Thank you, Thank you, Alanis' second album with Maverick, supposed former infatuation junkie, was born on this trip. And each song reveals her new sense of self-knowledge and focus. The songs on Alanis' latest album go deeper into her personal struggles and hint at a sense of confidence and calm. What didn't kill her surely made her stronger and will undoubtedly earn her the respect of her industry. This year, Alanis received a Grammy nomination for Best Female Pop Vocal for Thank You. Now that you know how they got here, see them in action 
Order Alanis and Tori tonight on In Demand. Turn your living room into an entertainment empire. Order the best entertainment from In Demand. You rule. Welcome back to Behind the Scenes with Alanis Morissette and Tori Amos, In Demand. On the downstage, we'll actually be bridging some cable off, running it down the motor, and I was going to run it in the, in the catwalk for another two k's on the downstage. There's no time to waste, not for the guys behind the scenes, and not for you. So get cracking and order Alanis Morissette and Tori Amos, the five and a half weeks concert brought to you by mp3.com. I'm trying to mark it out okay. so we know which is what is what. While you're waiting to enjoy tonight's concert, this is your chance to share the adrenaline rush that comes with staging two concerts in one. Later, you'll see Tori and Alanis give the audience quite a workout, but it's this pre-concert mayhem that keeps the stagehands and grips buff. Oh, and if you thought it was a man's world, think again. Come on, do you really think Tori and Alanis would have it any other way? With a show of this size, nothing's left to chance. This is the wrong side of the lens for me. I'm very uncomfortable. Five bones connected to the knee bone. This crew has a lot people breathing down their necks, demanding a perfect broadcast. Every camera must be in place and every angle must be checked. They only get one shot to get it right. So we have the 90 degree up top there. The 90 degree is going to be a tight shot of Tori, um, tight and wide, also her, her piano, because the actual the cover of the piano is going to be up. So that's a problem if we're shooting on stage with it. The two cameras directly to the back, which are cameras one and two, all the way to the rear there. That's your tight follow. And that's your loose camera, your establishment right. shot. We're Good. covered on that. Good. Craig, which is kind of our hero camera, I guess I want to call it that, or main talent camera, steady cam, is going to be on stage right. And his responsibility is to both follow Atlantis, get Tori, and to work with all the main With Atlantis. the Atlantis. Tori, Tori, I'm less worried about because she's pretty stationary right. throughout the show. Atlantis literally will run from that corner to that corner sprinting back and forth. Right. Right. Can't have someone running well, well that's the point that's the point of the two rear cameras. Okay. They're gonna have to pick her up and pan with her. Okay. He can work with her as she's coming to him, right. and Tommy can pick her up coming back. So we have a camera to pick her up stage left on a steady cam and stage right on a steady cam. Frankly, I wouldn't want to be the guy who trips and misses that perfect shot of Atlantis. The madness, the last minute mayhem, it's all in a day's work. And it's all part of what it takes to bring you one of the biggest concert events of the year, Alanis Morissette and Tori Amos in demand. Now that you've seen how some of the magic happens, call to order Alanis Morissette and Tori Amos, the five and a half weeks concert brought to you by mp3.com. This is the moment all you music heads and garage bandsters have been waiting for. A chance to rehearse with one of the hardest working bands in rock. Forget all the hype and glamour. Forget all the cheering, pounding and screaming. That'll come later. Now, there is real work to be done. For musicians, the sound check is vital. It's their only chance to get in sync with each other. Later, when they're being drowned out by screaming fans, they won't be able to hear themselves think, much less say, hey, stop, my guitar's not in tune. Here's the side of Alanis very few people have ever seen. A little, I was still, I was reaching for it a little bit. Alanis the perfectionist. 
Later, when she explodes on stage, every trace of this controlled professional craftswoman will be gone. But right now, Alanis must concentrate on the little things and prepare the sound guys so not a single note will be missed. Joe, just uh, let you know, once you sell me a shot there, I, I know you're hunting and packing and we're not doing anything in production. Yeah, I got you. Well, you know, I want, the, your concentration is going to be the shot of the keyboard player, obviously. And as the director takes his cue from the star, you still have time to order Alanis Morissette and Tori Amos, The Five and a Half Weeks Tour, brought to you by mp3.com. seen the crew, you've jammed with the band, so now you think you're ready to take the stage with the stars. Not so fast. First, some of you still haven't ordered the concert. And second, none of you have seen the most sacred of behind the scenes locations. Tour buses. This is where the stars hang, where Alanis and Tori have lived for the duration of the five and a half weeks tour. And if you're still at home dreaming of a life on stage, remember, with fame comes tour buses. As you can see, Alanis likes options when it comes to wardrobe. Her signature skirt over pants look is the perfect combination of style and mobility. And talk about a shoe fetish. Jeez, how many pairs of sneakers does one alternative rock chick need? And for anyone who doubts she's got a soft side, here are a few cuddly little reminders that she is still a kid at heart. Alanis is prepared for many a costume change, and you can bet each of these duds has taken the stage more than a few times during this tour. As the concert draws near, our stars and director take this time to discuss potential surprises, and most likely plan the menu for the after party. While our crew, Tori and Alanis, take advantage of these last few minutes till showtime, you can take advantage of this opportunity to call and order Alanis and Tori in concert and in demand. Welcome to a cool new world where you won't just sit there, you'll go places. Now, one digital connection from Comcast brings you a brand new way to watch your television. And the fastest way around the World Wide Web. So don't just turn it on, stir things up. What a cool new world. Comcast. Sir, what's wrong? I don't know, I feel like a number, Stilton. Sir, you are a number. Number one, a king who gets to watch movies. Stilton, I love you. Oh, I love you. Order the best movies from your home. Pay-per-view is now in demand. You rule. Welcome back to Behind the Scenes with Alanis Morissette and Tori Amos, the Five and a Half Weeks Concert, brought to you by MP3.com. While we show you what went into putting this show on the air, we still have time to order the concert and see how well our hard work paid off. Here's a little behind the scenes fun that'll help you folks at home play along with our crew here at Mandalay Bay. Lights. Well, you pretty much need them for the obvious reasons. The reasons for this giant jib maybe aren't so obvious. While Tori and Alanis are focusing all their attention on the audience inside this giant arena, the role of all this massive hardware is to give you, the home viewer, an experience that rivals that of the concert goers. And since this jib can get up over Tori and these Steadicam guys can capture Alanis up close and in motion, I would say you are getting an even wilder show. Get her, ready to solve three, stay out of Joan. They're in Joan, I have to stay with you, it's okay. Ready to solve three from here, and to solve three full. Now, thank you. Ready to take four, and take. 
break. Break four. Up over the top. Rotate that head. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. All the way. Counterclockwise. Thank you. Put his out three from here. And his out three full. Beautiful. Thank you. Ready, five. Take five. And his out three. Now. Full. Thank you. Ready, four. On a take. Take four. Okay. Ready, one. Slow push one, and take one now. Make your move one. Ready, south three. One, I want you to slowly pan to your right. Ready, south three. Pan to your right now. Make your move. Ready, south. Add three now. Add full and full. That's it. Ready, take four and take. Rotate that head. Come out of there. Beautiful. Ready, three. Take three now. That's it, Maddie. All the way in on it. It's yours. You own it. Here's a peek at what it takes to bring the musical magic of Tori Amos into your living room. Check it out and see if you don't break a sweat just watching. Ready, three, take three. And dissolve four now. Rotate. That's it. Get ready to dissolve one. Beautiful look. Dissolve one. I want the jib in the shot. Pull back one. Pull back one. Make your move. Ready to dissolve three. Dissolve three now. Full. Beautiful. Ready, seven. Take seven now. Beautiful. Great look. Nice. Dissolve four. Dissolve four now. Ready, five. Take five now. Ready, take three. One thing working in this director's favor is the fact that Alanis and Tori were born and bred in the age of television and videos, so they know how to perform for the camera. Ready, two, take two. Take four. Take three. Ready, six, take six. Five. Take three. It's out four now. Four, thank you. Break it in there, babe. Right over the top. Rotate that head. Get up over the top of her. Beautiful. Stay with it right there. One online is off. Beautiful. Nice job, everyone. Great, great job. During tonight's concert, you'll notice that Alanis covers quite a bit of territory. First of all, Alanis' songs have far too much edge and energy to be sung standing still. And second of all, she has all those shiny new sneaks to break in. So how do you keep from missing a beat? Well, if you're in the theater, it's easy. You just keep your eyes on the brunette with the microphone. But when a performer like Alanis appears in a concert that's airing on television, you need an energetic camera crew. I'm sure the audience at Mandalay Bay will be pumped and ready to follow Alanis anywhere she wants to take them. And I know that the camera crew has been rehearsing all day in preparation. So go ahead, Alanis. Mambo, cha-cha, reinvent the hand jive. We've got you covered. Our camera guys bought new sneaks for the occasion, too. So now you know Tori and Alanis a little better, and how this show came together. You've seen them tune, rehearse, and even got a taste of their amazing performances, not to mention a real education on the magic of television. Now, hurry up and call your cable operator. Order Alanis Morissette and Tori Amos, the five and a half weeks concert, brought to you by mp3.com, exclusively on In Demand. Let's finish what we started. Call now to order. Time is running out. The following program is rated TV PG. The following is a presentation of In Demand in association with Comcast Original Programming. She looked deep inside and emerged the supposed former infatuation junkie. She's been to Venus and back. Now it's your turn to travel at the speed of their sound. Fueled by raw energy, flying on the tail of explosive vocals and soaring instrumentals. It's a trip that's sure to stir your soul. 
Alanis Morissette and Tori Amos, The Five and a Half Weeks Concert. Brought to you by MP3.com. Presented exclusively by In Demand. Let the journey begin. Thank you.